What's up guys? Alright, this is going to start a series of randomness and what I mean by randomness is random thoughts that I get. This is going to be, uh, this is going to be, um, I don't know, any of you guys have been following me for a while, any of my subscribers, you know that my channel is all over the road, so it's whatever I come up with, that's what y'all get. Uh, <laughs> there's everything from snow plowing to lawn mowing to marketing to, I don't know, I've had all kinds of different stuff, so um, it's pretty much whatever I come up with at the time is, uh, is what my videos are based on, but anyways, randomness, this is what we're rolling with right now. Um, anytime I get a random thought, I'm just going to make a quick video on it, and we're going to get them out there. I found some other people that do stuff like this, and I was like, that's pretty cool. And uh, it's nice to just watch like a little, like some of the people I follow, they get some random thoughts, and they just put something up there, and it could be anything, and they're like little three-minute, five-minute, maybe even ten-minute videos, and uh, and I, they just get me rolling in the morning and stuff when I watch them, or throughout the day, I just I'll, I'll scroll through my uh, <clears throat> my feed on uh, on YouTube, and uh, I'll see some videos on there, and uh, I'll just be like, oh, let me post this time, and I'll click on it. And sometimes it'll make me laugh, sometimes it'll make me stop and think, and I'm like, that's not a bad idea, or whatever, but uh, I'm just going to roll with it, and the reason why I decided to do it is because every once in a while I get these thoughts, and I'm like, I, I just want to say this stuff to certain people, and you know, every once in a while, there's there's like people that you just want to like just stop and just grab them and say listen to me I need to say this to you but at the same time you don't want them like talking back you you want to say everything you have to say you ever get in them conversations with people where you're just like listen I have to say something to you don't interrupt me don't stop until I am done talking and then you can say whatever it is that you want to say you can comment back you can whatever but let me just say what I need to say you ever get like that I do all the time and uh, I feel like whenever I need to say something people just like just right over top me and they don't listen to me at all when I'm trying to talk so um, and uh, so anyway so that that's pretty much what this uh, some of this randomness can be about and that's what today's is going to be about okay um, one thing that I really want to get on um, is where you are in life and the me, 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 all my life sucks whine and complain and rant that so many people do. I literally know so many people that have a million excuses for everything under the sun. They will act like the biggest, toughest person in the world, man or woman, you know, adult or younger person. They, you know, they, they're like, oh, I'm so tough, I'm badass, I'm this, I'm that. But when it comes down to life, they're the biggest freaking crybabies you've ever seen, ever. Period. I, mean, I know so many people are like this, and the one thing that I want to drill the most in this, and if you don't like this and you don't agree with it, you can hit stop at any time and just not even listen to my videos. I'm sure a lot of people won't like what I have to say, won't agree with me, won't whatever, but uh, there are people that are going to agree with me. There are people that are going to be listening to this right now and say, oh my God, that's what I deal with all the time. I know people exactly like that. At the end of the day, this this is one point that's 100% dead. I don't care where you come from. I don't care what color you are, what race you are. I don't care what part of the world you live in. Where you are today is a 100% direct reflection of every decision you have made in your life up till this point. Okay, I'll say it again. Where you are today is a 100% direct reflection of every decision you've made up to this point in your life. If you are living in a shit shack, a poor house, and wah, 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 poor me, poor me, and your life literally sucks right now, it is because of decisions you made or because of decisions that you let people make for you. You aren't where you are because, oh, that person cheated on me and left me high and dry, or that person was unfaithful in my marriage and just left me with nothing and took everything, or... Um, it, in high school, the guidance counselors and teachers were so horrible to me and so mean to me, and and it was they made it so difficult. I couldn't do this, couldn't do that, or whatever. I, whatever whining, crybaby, freaking story you have, okay, you let it happen, regardless of all. You let it happen, okay. Um, I'm not saying that any one of us that didn't end up in that situation is better than you or anyone that is 
in that bad situation is better or worse than somebody that's not. What I'm saying is you are your own person. You are why you are where you're at right now. I know it's kind of hard to comprehend for some people. Some people are going to know exactly what I mean, okay? Nobody can change anything in your life but you. Whether you're trying to impress somebody else or whether you're trying to, you lie about where you are in your life because you want to, you know, impress all these other people. I know somebody that literally has a landscape company that goes around and tells everybody around that, that he makes $100,000 a year. This dude is lucky to make 20000 off of landscaping, maybe thirty, if that. I highly even doubt that. Okay, but because he wants people to think he's in a higher state, and, and he's really not. I know people that literally complain and say they hate their life every day because of, um, you know, a, a relationship they were in and the person screwed them over and left them high and dry. You're in that state because that person screwed you and you decided to do nothing about it. That's why you're there, okay? I am, um, I've had my own fair share of setbacks. Believe that, okay? My father died less than 48 hours before my 10th birthday. Um, I grew up in different schools being moved around a lot. I grew up in a house where, um, you know, my mom did everything she possibly could for us, but we didn't have all the money in the world. We had to work our butts off for everything we had. Um, nothing was just handed to us. Um, I have definitely made my fair share of mistakes that were my own fault. I've done some crappy stuff in the world to, for myself and towards other people. I've by far made tons of mistakes, and I still make them today. Um, far fewer than what I've made over the years, but... You know, and, and I've dealt myself a crappy hand over the years. I've done a lot of stuff that has literally set me back because of my own stupid decisions. Um, and, uh, you know, I've screwed over people in the past that that I definitely showed. But that's because that was my mindset at the time. That's where I was, and it was all me, 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 me. And I didn't care about what I did to other people. But I changed that. And today I have a career that I've been in for going on 10 years now um, and I have my business it has grown I'm going on my third season of my business and it is extremely successful every year is it I, I'm actually extremely surprised on how much it has exploded but that's because I've devoted everything to it other landscapers in my area that are 10 times the size of me have said to me how the heck are you expanding so big? Like, what are you doing? Are you underbidding all of us? Are you this or that? And I showed some of them. Uh, you know, I'm not a fan of showing other people my price, but I showed them. I'm like, listen, this is what I charge for this. This is what I charge for that. And some of them are like, that's more than I charge. Like, nobody can understand how I'm doing this, and even I didn't understand it. But I've devoted everything to it. That's the point I'm making. Okay, you have to devote everything you have to where you want to be if you want to be there then just do it just go after it i i'm not nike i know i sound like a nike commercial just do it but you have to go after it don't let anybody set you back don't because you know you have less than what bigger companies and you have you know i guess i'm not trying to directly relate this exactly to another landscape company or to a business i mean in general, but I mean, if that's the case, and uh, you know, I know a lot of landscapers watch my channel and subscribe to my channel, but you know, if you have less than the company next to you, don't let that set you back. Don't let that make you feel inferior because that. Just go do it. You can. They didn't get where they are because they started with brand new mowers and brand new trucks from day one. Hell no. Hell no. The biggest guy in my area started with a with a Camaro, a Ford Tempo, and a push mower in the back of each one. Okay, that's what he started with. Now he's the biggest around, and he has tons of trucks, tons of trailers, tons of employees. This is mammoth. Okay, um, but you have to want it bad enough, and you have to not let anything keep you back. Don't blame anybody else. Don't blame anything for where you are today. You are why you are where you are. If you're sitting on top of the mountain and you're in your castle and you have all this money, you're like loaded to the max you're there because you put yourself there okay if i know there's an occasional silver spoon trust fund baby we have some of those around my area just like any area has them and you can clearly tell they're they're a completely different mindset than somebody that worked themselves up that way but if you're up that high that's because you put yourself there based on decisions you have made in your willpower and your mind to go that far if you're sitting down at the bottom 
you put yourself there. You let things set you back or things that happen to you, you let that hold you down. You didn't let yourself expand to the next level. You didn't have that drive, that eagerness, that go, 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 that I want to be up here and not down here. You let all that happen to you, okay? You did it. You are your own fault, okay? Change it. I cannot stand listening to people whine and cry about where they're at or, oh my God, this happened to me, that happened to me, and, you know, blah, 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 all this garbage, or, you know, I can't work because of this, or I can't, you know, I, I don't have all that, or, or my car broke down again, now I don't know how I'm going to fix it, or I don't have the money to do this, I don't have the money to do that, or whatever, whatever your case is, you did it. You put yourself there because you are the only one that can change it. I know I've said that a million times in this video, and I did it for a reason. It's fact, and it's the point I'm trying to drill across. Okay, so whatever you guys are doing in your life, you have the power to do it. You can be anything you want to be. You can be as big as you want to be or as small as you want to be or right in the middle. If that's where you like to roll, that that's your track. You want to roll right through the middle, then don't be at the bottom and avoid going way to the top. Roll through the middle. If that's where you want to be and that's where you're comfortable, then great. I'm I'm not where I want to be, but I'm happy where I'm at right now because I'm doing very well, and nobody handed that to me. I actually have, well, what used to be a good friend of mine growing up told me that my nose is in the air and I'm stuck up and I'm this and that. No, I'm proud. There's a very big difference. I still go out of my way to help anybody I can. The people that I do talk to on a regular basis, I drop everything for and I go and help them whenever they need it. Um, you know, as long as it's something I can drop. Like if I'm in the middle of doing something with my family, I don't just dump them off and go help somebody, you know. Um, but I'm always helping them out, and I have friends that have landscape companies near me that lately I've been hitting driveways for them, hit or miss, because they can't get to them, and they're like, what do I owe you? I'm like, you don't owe me nothing. You know, if I call you up and I need you to hit one for me, do it. You know, it's no big deal. I'm not worried about it. One of my guys, I just went and plowed his mom's driveway for him yesterday, and he said, what do I owe you? I'm like, you don't owe me nothing. He works for me in the spring. I'm like, you owe me lunch in the spring. You know, whatever. It's, it's not a big deal. You know, I'm always helping people out and doing what I can for people. I make these videos, marketing videos, so on and so forth, to try to help people. I want to help people. Okay, I'm not stuck up. My nose isn't in the air. I don't think I'm better than everybody because my business has exploded or because I'm doing so well. It's because I've worked my butt off and I'm proud of myself for doing that. And that same friend of mine, I've actually given him tips. He runs an illegal business, okay, extremely illegal. He has no insurance. He, he did eventually go get his license. He has no insurance. He doesn't claim anything. He doesn't have a bank account. He doesn't have an accountant. He, he's so off the grid it's impossible but he thinks that that's how he's going to run his business he's going to fly under the radar like he says well you know what they're going to catch him and i can't wait till they do because he'll be done you know what i mean that's how stubborn he is i don't like to see bad things like that happen to people but he's going to he's going to criticize me and talk crap about me because i'm doing it the right way and i've been successful at it and i've tried to help him say listen this is what you can do and you know you do it this way i tried doing this last year whatever and it totally blew up on me don't do that you know, here, but you do this. And because I did that, he told me that I'm stuck up and I think I'm better than everybody. You know what? He's down in that lower bracket and he's so smart. I've known this kid forever. He's so smart. He has the potential to be so much higher, but he won't go to that next level. And it's a stubbornness. At the end of the day, he is keeping himself down here. He tells everybody he's up here, but he's not. He's down here. Okay. But he is his own fault. He is keeping himself down here. And that's what I'm saying. Guys, break free of that shell and put yourself up there. At the end of the day, only you can be the one that changes that. Only you can put yourself at that next level. Don't ever let anybody hold you down. Don't ever let anybody tell you you can't do something. Because at the end of the day, you can. You can do everything you want to do. All right? I've said it a million times, and I'll say it one more time. Okay? You are your biggest competition. Whether it's business, whether it's life, you are the one that holds yourself back. If you fail in life, it's because you let yourself fail. It's because you set yourself back. It's all the decisions that you make, okay? Don't blame anybody for where you're at. Don't blame anybody for what you have or don't have, okay? Look in the mirror. Look in the mirror because only you can change that.